Hey, thanks for coming back for another session of Fixer Upper. We're in this series uh, not to talk about fixing up houses like Chip and Joanna Gaines did, but to how to talk about fixing up our minds, uh, changing the way we think, learning to think the way God wants us to think, learning to think in such a way that we have minds marked by joy. Uh, God wants us to experience joy, uh, not be down all the time and angry and cynical. So that's, that's what we're looking at. Um, even though we're supposed to have minds that uh, are, are marked by happiness and joy, truth is we get discouraged, don't we? Um, I mean, you know, you might get discouraged thinking, why did I sign up for this graduate program? You know, you're halfway through it and you're thinking, why did I do this? Or maybe you're doing a project at home and you're thinking, why in the world did we think we could do this remodel ourselves? Or maybe you're trying to clean up your house and you've got all this stuff, you're putting it on eBay and trying to sell stuff and get rid of stuff and you think, when will we ever clean up our house? Or if you're a person like me, you, could, you can ask the question, why did I think leading a church would be easy? Uh, you got children? Why did we think we could have three children? Um, maybe you're, you're involved here at the church in some way and you're thinking, why did I sign up to teach Sunday school? Or to you work with the youth? I mean, what good is it doing? Um, okay, on and on. You can get discouraged. We get discouraged when we lose sight of what we're ultimately trying to achieve. The Apostle Paul addresses that in Philippians uh, 3. Uh, why don't you turn with me to Philippians 3, 12 to 16. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind, and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. All of us then who are mature should take such a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. So the question I'd like you to discuss today with your group or one other person in your group, is there a goal in your life you've lost sight of so that you've become discouraged? A uh, second question is, what do you think your goal in life should be? Okay, so let's just go over those again. Is there a goal in your life you've lost sight of so you've become discouraged? And then what do you think your goal in life should be? Have a great discussion. Hope you go through the journal. Uh, pray together and uh, have a good time. Thanks.